live, 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 live TV. Here we go. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Mechanics Institute on this Tuesday night, April 27th. I'm Abel Talamantes, Chess Director at the Mechanics Institute. Joining me, as always, for the arena is three-time U.S. champion, Grandmaster Nick DeFermian, and FIDE Master Paul Whitehead. And the arena has begun, and as typically is the case, uh, they do not get easy opponents right off the bat as Nick DeFermian is taking on F-Pawn, Michael F-Pawn Eigner. And uh, Paul is taking on a very, very strong scholastic player in uh, Shashwath Siva Kumar. And there is the game. <clears throat> so currently 16 players in the arena. We expect uh, more to join, as is typically the case. And uh, tonight after the arena, starting at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, we will have the final two rounds of our Tuesday night marathon. And uh, we have some great matchups for round five. Uh, looking forward to those games, starting with board one. Uh, Grandmaster Gadir Gusayanov, the only perfect score in the tournament, is taking on international master Brian Escalante. Um, and that will be an exciting uh, match to watch. Uh, board two has got national master Eric Hohn, micro bear, against international master Josiah Stearman. And we have a, a matchup that I'm looking forward to seeing, International Master Elliot Winslow against FIDE Master Max Gedajlovic. Um, I don't think they've played each other yet, so uh, we'll see. And then David Askin against Rui, Rui Yang Yan. Among the many great matchups that we have for you this evening. So uh, really looking forward to the games tonight. If you want to see the complete pairings as well as the standings, I've just put the link in the Twitch chat. So uh, go ahead and click on there and uh, check out the action tonight. So, Nick, how is your game going with uh, F-Pawn? Oh, F-Pawn is always a tough cookie, you know? So uh, got White and Arosolimo, you know, that trying to pressure me. That is right. So says Modern Chess Openings author. And yeah, the tough part about F-Pawn is he plays to win. So oh, that, that, always that uh, puts a, a kink. It's in so the, unfair of him, Nick. I, I know. I so know. It destroys the strategy. Yes, but like. Uh... And uh, we'll see if uh, F Pon plays in uh, Sunday's uh, Shut Brandwine J Whitehead Memorial. That'll be Sunday at three p.m. <clears throat> we'll be uh, plugging that this week completely free free to register we're hoping uh to get some top players joining in that uh, we typically do sacrifice and crush is in the chat hello sauce hakobian and uh i just put the link to the uh, registration page of the shut brand wine j whitehead memorial sunday 3 p.m totally free we usually have very very strong players come out and participate so uh, 12 rounds. Oh, and uh, Chess Dojo is rating us with 67 viewers. So thank you to the folks at Chess Dojo. Uh, Kostya Kavutsky, David Pruis. Thank you so much. And if you are following the dojo, you are now here at the Mechanics Institute. Grandmaster and three-time U.S. champion Nick DeFermian and FIDE and master Fide. Paul Whitehead. Uh, the staff of the Mechanics Institute are uh, taking on all comers, playing uh, Open Arena, G5 plus 2, 60 minutes. We just got started, still 54 minutes left, 16 players. So uh, thank you uh, for tuning in and watching. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that follow button that's right under the chessboard there. Uh, because tonight we have the final two rounds of our USCF rated Tuesday night marathon. Uh, Grandmaster Gadir Gusenov and International Master Brian Escalante headline the action 
in the uh, TNM. So uh, check out uh, the links there. Uh, the link I just put is to Sunday's Shut Brandwine J. Whitehead Memorial. Let me throw in the TNM link, the Tuesday Night Marathon. So you can find the standings and the pairings for tonight. That is in there. So uh, a lot of stuff going on at the Mechanics Institute. So uh, click on. And uh, how you doing, Nick? Holding strong? Oh, well, you know, he's, he's uh, doing pretty good. It's a little worse here. <laughs> My clock is a bit slow, but... Uh... Yeah, he, he plays pretty quick. Let's uh, check on Paul Whitehead's game. He's playing white here, Chess Monster 666. Taking on Shashwat Sivakumar. Uh, what, about, what about you, Paul? You struggling? Yeah, I mean, I think he's a little better. Time is roughly the same. And this is always the challenge for the uh, the arenas, getting off to a good start. Uh, getting off out of the gate is uh, uh, a struggle in these arenas because you get... And... Cardboard cantrips, thank you for subscribing to, to the channel. Appreciate that very much. We love everyone that follows the Mechanics Institute and what we do. Oh, I just overlooked uh, the most obvious move in the world. <laughs> What'd you do that for, Paul? Oh. Uh... That is the sound of inevitability. <laughs> you ever seen The Matrix? <laughs> that that, uh, that criminal dude. That is the sound of inevitability. Now let's check on uh, Nick's game. Nick and F Pawn. How can I overlook these obvious moves? So, Nick, I'm, I'm looking at your pawn structure. I'm a novice. It does not look ideal. No, no. They're, they're um, a bit broken up there. One has to admit that that's... Uh... Uh, you know, I think Sam Shanklin wrote in one of his books regarding pawn structures and double pawns that they're really only weak if you can attack them. The, the pawns yeah. being doubled just... By their own nature, don't doesn't make them weak. They have to be able to be attacked, right? Well, yeah, this one's this is not ideal, though. <laughs> this one's right. genuinely weak. <laughs> it just uh... and actually, speaking of chess dojo, um, I had put a Facebook post up today where Kostya was in the uh, in the picture, and I'm I'm actually going to check it out right now to see if it's up. Uh, and it is, um, yeah, how cool. So I, I had put up a picture of Kostya playing Fabiano Caruana at the Mechanics Institute Rapid Championship in 2019. So, uh, very cool. Just remember that. I figured, uh, the Mechanics Institute Blitz and Rapid Championship is coming up in, uh, next month. So I figured to put a picture up, kind of remember uh, the good old times <laughs> when we were playing this live. And you can see inside, uh, you can see inside of our club right there in the picture next to the board. That picture was actually taken a couple of weeks ago, so that's what it looks like now, ready for players to come back as soon as we can. This um this tournament used to be so great in the old days. That was uh. When you had all like the free food and everything. Oh yeah, the shut brand wine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Free food, giving away books. F pawn gets it done. Okay. Well done by F pawn. I am still having trouble with my connection. Oh right. yeah. So last week uh, Nick was having problem with the. Um, uh, the connection. 
If I don't win any of my first three games, I'm going to uh, yeah, yeah, and then I'll have to again. I'll have to jump in and play one game. Yes, which entertained everybody when you did that. So. It, it sure did, but for the wrong reasons. I feel like it entertained because I got myself into a whole lot of trouble and then got myself out of oh, it. Oh, I lost on time again. <laughs> and Paul flagged. Uh, I don't even notice this stuff. <laughs> so we have uh, both uh, Nick and Paul trying to give their opponents a false sense of security. I don't uh -huh. even notice giving the, away the first match. All right, Paul, this... These, these these weeks are embarrassing. <laughs> They're like, uh, but I'm gonna have to do my get my connection, and you're gonna have to I don't know eat your Wheaties or something. Eat the Wheaties. Uh, well, I mean, the, I I'm a, I'm not paying attention to the clock and all kinds of other things. Getting lost in the calculations. We need Abel to step in and all that stuff. Yeah, I gotta like jump in and you know play play crazy and entertain the folks. We're waiting on Paul's next game. Oh, it started. Oh, uh, Nick's next game. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I believe I'm started, yes. At least I'm playing somebody. Ninja Force is taking on Frank James Marshall. That is... Uh... I just I just flagged in a position that I, I rather liked my game. <laughs> well, you didn't like it enough because uh, <laughs> you just flagged it. You started a game, Nick? Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, yes, I'm playing a game. Is it, is it not registered? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm playing someone TYU143, and it's, uh, wait a minute. Is this not in the arena? <laughs> it's not in the arena. I think somebody just challenged you. And, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Nick and I are definitely having some issues here. Okay. I, uh, what, right. what's, what's the time control? It's it's three minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's out of the arena. Because okay. the arena is five, <clears throat> five plus two. Just put a beat down and then jump back in the arena. Okay, I'm offering a draw on this game and see if he takes it. Oh, wow. Is the Real rating fun. close? Oh, you can't offer a draw before move 20? That's a <laughs> yeah. bit odd. I think that's right. Is that their new rule? Yeah, it's like some rule. I don't know if it's particular to Blitz or <clears throat> or what. Yeah, Nick. Um, um, oh, let me jump back to Paul's game. Definitely have issues <clears throat> here with this chess.com thing. Um, okay. Yeah, we, we need to get our setup working better. Well, well, Nick, Nick's I understand because it's related to con connection, but I don't understand yours. Yeah, there's <laughs> no, there's no understanding it. <laughs> <laughs> it just is. It just is. It, is, it, what it, it is. is what it is. Metabolic error, the sound of father time. Yeah, in person over the board. Uh, we think we'll be starting back with that uh, very soon, but we just don't know exactly when. But we are in discussions, figuring out what we need to do to get everything started. Um, sort of the challenge is that a lot of people think they know the regs with regards to opening, but you actually may not. So that's sort of... A, a challenge um, regarding that. So a lot of people are thinking, oh yeah, just, you know, open because, you know, coffee shops are open. So there's gotta be a way, but um, there's actually a lot of rules related to events and what people can and can't do and, and what venues will require and not require. So um, at least the Mechanics Institute is doing everything it can just to make sure it adheres to all the rules regarding that. And uh, when we do open, we'll be, we know we're, we're doing it straight up uh, with everything. And then plus, you know, we're sort of dealing with Santa, San Francisco County regulations as opposed to others in the Bay Area, right? So that, that's a challenge because there's some rules in San Francisco County that are different from Santa Clara County, for example. So 
But as soon as we can, we will. Doing it outside an option. Well, for the Mechanics Institute, it's not really an option because we can't do street chess. Uh, they eliminated that a few years ago. Yeah, Silicon yeah. Valley Tournament. Uh, kudos to the uh, San Jose Chess Club. Um, I'm actually playing in that. I registered. So, oh, really good. Yeah, so it's, uh, I think it's May 22nd. Uh, San Jose Chess Club. I think it's called Silicon Valley Open. Uh, Christopher Yu's playing in it and Me Melik Kachian. Wow. So they got some strong, strong. players. Are, are you playing in it? Uh Kashwat, you in the chat? So, uh, but yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing the under two thousand section. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, he might. He might play that. And as we know, with a lot of chess players, most make up their mind the week before or even days before the event to join up. So, but uh, yeah, they're they're strong players playing there. Uh, definitely not including myself in that. Um, you know, and for me, it's close because I live in San Jose. So, so looking forward to that. And another tournament I know a lot of people are looking forward to is the National Open. Uh, Indeed. In June. So, yeah, metabolic air, some really good air filter systems and things like that. Yeah, that, that's a challenge. And the other thing, too, is, you know, Governor Newsom said June 15th, we should be able to open. Uh, but we don't know exactly what that means. And some counties, from what I understand, can actually deviate from that if they choose. So uh, who knows? But we let's put it this way. Mechanics wants to open. Paul's dying to get back into the club. Uh, I'm, di <laughs> I'm dying to get back to the club. We're all dying to get back. So trust us. Hey, Abel, are you in the club right now? I am not. I'm not in the club right now. Although go it, it looks like it if you look week. right under me. That's that's the club right there. Yes, uh, Silicon Valley Open. Let me see if I can actually pull it up. Put the uh, link in the chat. Silicon Valley Open. Uh, last I saw, they had like 30 players already registered and still, you know, quite a few weeks away. And there it is. Yep, there it is. So uh, if you're interested in that, there you go. Click on that link. Oh, you joined uh, the Mechanics Institute Cardboard Cantrips. Thank you. Thank you for joining the Institute. You get a lot of value for joining, uh, not just uh, savings in uh, chess events, uh, but, you know, access to author events, literary events, uh, the library, uh, checking out uh, books, uh, beautiful library. Have you have you been? Have you visited Mechanics? Um, but uh yeah, thank you for joining. It's, it's always cool when people join, but they live in other areas, like Idaho, uh, for example, like cardboard cantrips. Well, this pandemic has brought us members from New York to Texas and uh, probably now all over the country. Yeah. And he, uh, Nick's playing uh, Kalen Melville here, the Benoni. Kalen is up on time, but. Uh... And uh, Paul looking like he's in control in his game. That's just what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> no control. Wow. Look at the uh, registration for that Silicon Valley Open, May 22nd through 23rd. Grandmaster Melik Kachian, International Master Christopher Yu, International Master Alexander Katz, International Master Josiah Stearman, International Master Elliot Winslow, National Master Rui Yang Yan, Mike Walder, Alan Finkelstein, Akko Jeez. Hidari, Nicholas Wang. Basically, the Mechanics Institute is going to be yeah. at the Silicon Valley Open. And look at the under 2000 section, Abel Talamantes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa. But Kevin Fong, Ritwit Narendra, Vishva Nanuganda, Sean Kelly. Mechanics people, they're going to be representing here at this tournament. So very cool. Uh, do, what's the total registration at this point? It looks uh, like 41 so far. Pretty good. Which is pretty solid considering it's still like three weeks away. <clears throat> Although, I don't, I don't know about my math here. Hold on. Yep. Maybe I can win a rook ahead, Nick. Well, there's always hope, Paul. Don't get too optimistic, but um and metabolic error, yeah. City in his city they have chess clubs that use larger restaurant tables, and I'm guessing that's so that you can keep that distance. Yeah, that's uh that is an option. Uh, of keeping not the six foot distance, but the three feet apart, feet apart, right? As is the requirement for some places. All right, Paul trying to get it done. Who's winning this arena anyway? How's that going? It ain't me, babe. It is <laughs> with three out of three so far. Ninja Force, Nicholas Wang. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then Mike Saylor with two. And Shashwat Sivakumar with two. Paul gets on the scoreboard. He gets a win. Congratulations. How are you doing there over there, Nick? Um, <laughs> I think I'm doing all right. I'm not sure about the time. Clocks aren't running on my computer. Oh, my gosh, really? Technical difficulties. You, you got uh, four minutes and six seconds. And well, that's... It, that's and it is Kalen's move. I see. So I want to play. I want to play some of these um, stronger players here. Get get with some redemption. Well, look at Paul. He's I'm got the right attitude. too slow, Nick. Just way too slow. Ponderous. <laughs> um, You're too ponderous. <laughs> And Paul waiting on his next opponent. I'm waiting for Nepomniachi to show up. Yeah. So for those that don't know, congratulations to Ian Nepomniachi, who uh, won the FIDE Candidates Tournament and will play Magnus Carlsen for the World Championship. Uh, when is that match supposed to take place? December? I, think, I thought it was November, but... Mm. Uh... Is that that's in Russia, right? Uh, no, it's in Dubai, I think. Is it Dubai? Yes. So no, no home court advantage for the challenger. Uh, what happened in the games today? I didn't bother to watch since uh, he had wrapped it up. Did everyone draw? No, actually, the Pomniachi lost and Anish Giri lost. Wow. Um, so yeah, it was a bit surprising. Who do you who do you think is going to win that? Like, what? How do you see that match going? It's certainly a different um, style than some of his other challengers. Yeah, he's he's a very active player. So um, you see. Um, You, you know, you, but that may not be good against Carlson. I mean, Carlson's just uh, you know, very tough. So, um, so you're thinking <laughs> that since his style is to be very yeah. creative and aggressive, that actually might work to his disadvantage because Carlson can deflect all that. Yeah, they've had they've had a um, you know quite a history of playing and, and uh, he's done all right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Magnus is, is tough. Yep. Carlson will have his hands full. Uh, 
And it'll be exciting uh, to watch, even if it's just a different style and a different challenger. Um, and it'll be live chess, so uh, that'll be that'll be fun. All right, Chess Monster is playing. Has disconnected. Who he knows a uh, strong player. You wanted strong players. You got it, Paul. How do you feel? I'm not good right now. <laughs> He's playing a good game. <laughs> and 33 minutes left in the arena here. You know, that's the thing about those strong players, Paul. Sometimes they play a good game. Yeah, what's with that, Nick? Sometimes they play strong. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to uh, our chess team, our club team, who uh, played the Edinburgh Chess Club. This past Saturday, got the victory, 14-6. to six. We were led by Grandmaster Patrick Wolf and uh, International Master Josiah Stearman. And uh, this Saturday, we have a match against the Zurich Chess Club. Uh, we had a meeting with them this morning, uh, just tying loose ends. on Because uh, that's actually going to be an interesting match because uh, we're going to do that match where we manually pair all the games. So Judith will be starting all the games just like we do for our marathons and big events. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we are going to be led by Grandmaster Jim Tarjan. He's going to be playing for us against Zurich this Saturday. 10, 10.30 a.m., we will uh, blast out all the details, but we will have the coverage right here on this channel. So uh, click that follow button if you haven't done so already, and uh, Saturday morning, get the notification, Zurich Chess Club against <clears throat> the Mechanics Institute. You know what? Uh, that That's pretty nice. You've got someone from Portland leading the club. That's... <laughs> right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we love Jim Tarjan. He's played so many matches for mechanics. Um, always fun when he uh, contributes to the team. And plays our, like, marathons occasionally. Great player. And he's provided a lot of action in our tournaments. What are you up to, Paul? It looks like you're um, trying, trying to kill the king. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's probably not any good. Look at that move. Paul Whitehead, who teaches, uh, who will be teaching tomorrow, advanced attacking techniques. Well, uh, you're gonna use this game. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you use this game as an example. Okay, he's actually threatening to trap my queen here. And. Uh, Paul will be teaching a class that's sort of geared for 1,800-plus <clears throat> players, uh, stronger tournament players. Yeah, uh, we're just going to go through some famous games and, you know, talk about attacking ideas. And I think it's a, uh, you know, it's rare that you, you find classes that are geared for, like, the stronger club players because, you know, obviously you can't teach them stuff that uh, you know, a beginner would learn. But if you're interested in that class, click on that link. It is virtual. All right. He's gone into a... And in the chat, I'm noticing that the World Championship is going to be 14 games instead of 12. Is that right? Anyone know anything about that? I'm going to have to defend Nick for a long time. I had heard about that um, championship for 14 games, yes. So, uh, Is that to do everything they can to avoid, avoid, a, <laughs> avoid a 
avoid a 12 12 or, or whatever or what, what was the last time six six and then uh they went to rapids um yes it 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 somehow it just didn't quite uh Work way, uh, this was increased. Yeah, 14 game match after all 12 regular games were drawn in the previous match. Yep, well, Paul, did I lose on time? Oh, okay. Oh, you flagged. That's what oh, I've been doing, Nick. I had no, I, I just that uh, I had 11 seconds and uh, the computer wouldn't move. So, <laughs> it just, oh, and I just overlooked a cheap, a cheap shot. A cheapo? I? Wow, he offered you a draw. Paul's declined it. Sauce, oh, well, I should have... Sauce is asking me if I, if I registered for Paul's class. If I registered for advanced, advanced techniques. Advanced. All right, I'm going to play a game. Oh, thank you, Abel. Thank yeah. you. Rich. Whoa, wow. I'm playing has disconnected. Oh, tough game. That is a tough game. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm game for it. Um, I'm, I'm sure I misplayed the opening already. Of course, uh, sticking to the Alakines, of course. Who are you playing, Paul? Has uh, Don't mess with me. Okay. Is this your second game with them? Yeah. yeah. I lost the first one on time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. This should be uh, Redemption City. We'll see. But, Paul, you won a game, didn't you? I actually won a game, Nick. Can you believe it? <laughs> a game. <laughs> like celebrating a game. I actually have more time than I started with at this point. Okay. Now I'm, I'm starting to venture into waters that are unfamiliar to me. Which is not good. I'm sacking a pawn. Sack it. Oh my god. I, I I just I just hung a knight. That's oh, not good. Just just be playing Abel. No worries. Play on. No worries. Yeah. I'll, I'll think play on. think oh, of Chiron. God. I cannot believe that. But now I'm gonna have to like, like play edgy. Right. I gotta like go for it now. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I just made a terrible uh, pawn sacrifice. Pawn sacrifice. Did you see that movie, Paul? Um, pawn sacrifice. No. <clears throat> With Tobey Maguire? Yeah. I, not only did I sack a pawn, now he's trying to mate me on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what what kind of world is this, anyway? Yeah, what do you... What do you want? Is blood too or what? Let's see. Can I do that? Oh, so you you already knew that. Man. Okay. Okay. Oh no. I don't know about this, Paul. Nick. Oh, it can't. Yeah. This is like terrible. Terrible, terrible. There, there. There. Oh, no. Okay. I can't believe how badly I'm playing. Ugh. You should see my <laughs> game, Paul. You would. Oh. You would feel better. <laughs> I 
I think I think he like equalized for fun because he he totally uh, traded off his queen for like like a rook. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pounce on the generosity there. All right. Well, someone's been kind to. Yeah, I'm like hanging stuff though as I go too though, so it's not like. Ugh. I've got good ideas, bad implementation. Good ideas, you're sure, bad implementation. You're sure they're good ideas, Paul. There, there. He's like making it interesting. He's making it interesting. I'm going to make it interesting, too. I'm going to try to... Look what I'm facing here. I just got like pieces just in my face. Just like right in my face. All right, let's see. There, there, there. All right. Yeah, the funny thing is, is uh, I'm getting killed by these tactic tacticians, these kid tacticians. The tacticians. The tactician and the beast. Let's see. <laughs> that's beautician. Sounds like a book. Yeah, it was beautician and the beast. I think <laughs> I think that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh man! By Look at this. Kid tacticians. Look at this. This is just like incredible. Oh jeez! Like there's no let up like whatsoever. Look, look at these minor pieces. Like, it's just crazy. Two bishops and two knights are just, like, completely dominating me. I got, like, three pawns storming down. And my queen is, like, cuddled up on B1. Yeah, those pawns are, are rough when they start rolling, says Chess Lover. Chess Lover says, what up, man? Oh, my gosh. There. There. No, can't do that yet. There, there. This is like a silly position if you like look at it. Like I'm, I'm getting absolutely like attacked. He's gonna play bishop a6 now. Oh, he didn't play that. I'm like surprised. I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take a rook. Oh, I just got forked. Why'd I do that? This, this game is over. This is over. Completely over. Um, there's not even anything cheap I can do. This is like completely over. All right. That is it. Congratulations. I just got uh, demolished. You wore up a queen for not so much at one point. Uh, I, th I think even when I was up a queen, it would like the material was even because of all the material I had previously lost. So Nick has got Axel 340. And who does Paul have? My opponent just sacrificed the exchange, which was very strong. Paul trying to get his revenge here. 19 minutes and change left in the arena. Looking at the standings. Ninja Force, five out of five. Nicholas Wang. In second place, nice. F Pawn, three out of three. It's it's nice to see Ninja Force doing well. You know, you get different players at different times that do well. Yep, has disconnected and bullet. Yeah. Yeah, he's a strong chess player. Uh, I remember seeing him at Mechanics, uh, and he would come out for like the like the Rapid and Blitz events. So this is not going well, Nick. I'm getting murdered. <laughs> Even though he's you're up material though. Oh my yeah, gosh. but that's just a temporary. Oh. 
my pieces are all misplaced. He's got a vicious attack. He's got plenty of time. Those are, those are all the, the ingredients of uh, of a losing game. Oh, but you're being sneaky, Paul. You know that's yeah. If I can choose. Just... Oh, wow. Look at Nick's position here with white. How do you know I'm being sneaky anyway? <laughs> Nick's opponent, and Nick just won, but he's got a knight on h3, a knight on h4, and then a queen on h5. Wow. This is the first game I've won in two weeks. Okay? <laughs> I, my opponent just should not have resigned. He would have won on time. He would have won on time. Yeah. See, that's thank thank you, Axel. That's because he hasn't been watching the broadcast and knows that you'll have uh, disconnection problems later. Has disconnection? Has disconnection. <laughs> Christian Clemens is playing now, too. He's playing uh, Kelly Melville. Let's check that out, actually. Why not? Bonus coverage. I've decided to not trade queens. Mm. Doing all right now, huh? I don't know. Paul kind of claw his way. It looks like you avoided checkmate, Paul. And uh, chess lovers asking Nick in the chat, you still play the computers on ICC? I've given that up. It was um, years ago, where you know I, I had trouble admitting that the, the humans were not as good as the silicon ones. And all my time on Deep Blue, I thought I could get some strategy, but uh, computers—they're they're too fast and blitz. <laughs> Oh, so so you you are like trying to like uh, show everyone that the humans still Fuck. could still uh, compete and uh, still had the edge over computers, huh? Well, I would play very strange openings like these hippopotamus or hedgehog, or try to get up locked positions, things you know that uh, especially the old computers ten years ago um, that they weren't as good at. Um, so if you would get a locked position. Oh, I just hung up pawn. How did I do that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's time. Don't worry about the pawn. Oh, <laughs> what kind of a chess player am I anyway? It's like, you never know when Paul's agony is going to just hit all of a sudden. <laughs> so bad. Oh. Oh my goodness. So close. I just. <laughs> I hung a bond. How did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> uh, Jersey uh, searching for Bobby. He just Bishop. hung his bishop. How did he do that? There you go. <laughs> He was, pro he was probably watching the broadcast. <laughs> he yeah. <got> distracted. <laughs> right. Looks like looks like you might get a win, Paul. Paul moving with confidence now. Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm going to win this one. <laughs> Man, 
Yeah, he, he's waiting for something uh, nefarious to happen here. All right. <clears throat> You're not going to lose this one. I can guarantee you that. And Paul gets <laughs> no stalemate in the chat. <laughs> Very nice game, Paul. Fuck yeah. That, that gave you some satisfaction? <laughs> but I saw that he was hanging his piece, yes. <laughs> although, although now your opponent is playing Nick. Oh. How did I actually gain some time? Oh, and actually, I think you're having a problem executing the move, right? Yeah, yeah. What happens? I think there's something back to my move. Off. Yeah, because we I didn't see your move registered. The computer didn't like my move. It did not it like it. Me. Yeah, <laughs> said forget that. Forget e4, man. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get anywhere with e4, so it. Uh, hey, Bobby Fisher, like that move? You you can't do that to me. <laughs> uh, oh, chess monster has disconnected. Should I, should I jump in one more game? I think games. I played this crap against him the last time and got a lost game. <laughs> I'm playing the exact same garbage that I did last time. I can't believe this. What am I, I don't I learn anything? Unbelievable. <laughs> So you, so you tried the same thing, expecting a different result? I, I just <laughs> went into the same junk that I went into last time against him. This is really, um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. This is just awful. At, le at least you remembered that this was the same Yeah, I actually thing. remembered it, too. It didn't feel like something new. <laughs> He's oh, shaking man. his head in disbelief. He can't believe he got so. Wow, I'm gonna really. Ha I'm gonna have to look at an opening book one of these days. This is just atrocious. <laughs> hey, Paul, you you've hardly lost anything. <laughs> I love that move, fighting with the king. Yeah, the king's a fighting piece. <laughs> Well, I don't my, want to lose a pawn right away. I mean, later on is okay, but <laughs> how did my I apologies do this? <laughs> to everybody? I'm I'm trying to get a new uh, uh, um, internet provider, so <laughs> so so hang tight. <laughs> it's, it's coming. Well, next week, hopefully. Yeah. Well, we're counting on Paul to carry us through the final 10 minutes of the arena, but uh, with King D2 just played, I don't know if, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's going to be able it to like, get us all the way. <laughs> that move is an embarrassment to chess itself, <laughs> you know? Uh, all right. And everyone, while, while Paul's playing King to D2 and then Rook B1. And if he can play Rook B8, I can play Rook B1 and... and uh, <laughs> you play rook b1 and you don't care <laughs> and i'm just going to play deliberately as provocatively as i can yeah, here 6 40 p.m this evening in less than an hour come back to this channel because we will have round five of the mechanics institute's april 2021 tuesday night marathon gadir gusenov against Brian Escalante. That'll be a great match. Uh, Eric Hahn, Micro Bear, who beat Kyron Griffith last week, is playing uh, Josiah Stearman and uh, Elliot Winslow against Max the Axe, the Dajlovic. Uh, fun matches to follow. Look at that. He's threatening Bishop to G5. Can you believe that? I guess that's why he didn't take that pawn, right? He has the nerve to threaten to win my queen. <laughs> All right, now he's now this is this is I've got to pay attention to this. 
Yeah, this is the Tuesday night marathon. It's a it's a face off between the winners of last uh, marathon. That is right, because they tied for first. That's right. That's right. And uh, I remember uh, Gusenov won their matchup in the last marathon, but it, it was kind of a sharp game for a while, if I remember right. It looked like uh, Escalante was in a lot of trouble early, and then it seemed like he sort of equalized, but then like things fell apart. Eight minutes left in the arena. Looking at the standings, uh, Ninja Force. Five out of five. Is he still playing? Because I feel like he's been five out of five for a long time. Yeah, he's still playing. Well, he's about to be six out of six because he's uh, about to mate his opponent. So Nicholas Wang looks like he's in the driver's seat to have his uh, first arena win. I don't even know if I'm playing chess anymore. I think I'm playing Go. Paul's played Knight A4, King D2, and Rook B1. I know. Rook H3. Rook um, H3. My opponent's <laughs> totally confused. <laughs> He's never oh, seen chess like this. <laughs> yeah, Ninja, Ninja Force. Uh, yeah, he's he's a strong player, Nicholas Wang, scholastic player. I think he's like eleven years old, about two thousand rated. Uh, very strong. And he's also played oh. live in our Tuesday night marathons at the Mechanics Institute. You no, know, I haven't seen Mike Walter in the arena. Yeah, he doesn't like the time control. I think. I don't think. And neither do I. And neither does Paul, but we like make him do it. <laughs> yeah, but so just, you know what? But Paul, I mean, you used, you used to play the game in three plus two. Yeah, that that was better. So like this, <laughs> that was better. <laughs> the extra two minutes. Oh, I don't know. This is uh, this is fine. <laughs> the extra. The extra two minutes put an undue burden on you. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny game this is. That looks like a good move. Oh, April, you didn't play a second game, did you? I did not. I was looking at the time, and um, if I got into a game, I would probably take the, you know, my one game will take the whole time. And I wanted to keep the oh, focus yeah. on Paul, but, you know. Paul's playing these action moves here. So Ninja Force has a Canadian flag? <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I, you can have one too, Nick, if you want. I, I think there's a chance he may be Canadian, actually. I, I know they lived in Texas and then moved out here, but uh, I, I feel like he might be Canadian. Hey, Nicholas, if you're listening or in the chat, have a chance. Uh, you Canadian? I know you're a Texan. I just don't know if you were Canadian originally. Four minutes left in the arena. Bishop D3 has been played. All calculating out loud. Yep, this is her 
last name that counts all. So, as they say, make it count. But you know, now your king that you moved up early in the opening is, is better for the end game. That's right. He saw this. I had this planned out. Yeah, he saw me. this saw this coming. This was prep. Both players under a minute now. <clears throat> Very nice. So Sacrifice and Crush says that, that we're behind in Paul and uh, so. <laughs> in the standings, yeah. My gosh. It looks like Nin Ninja Force is definitely going to take it. Sacrifice and Crush is in fourth position. Nice job. My gosh, I wonder if I'm ahead of you guys. I am not ahead of you guys. I'm in like almost dead last. Well, for playing one game. Yeah, not bad. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to... Uh, you know, what do we make of this? Because uh, the expectation is you guys finish one and two. Yes, this, is, this has been a, a disappointing couple. What is going on? A minute... 29 left in the arena. And don't forget, everyone, at uh, 6.40 p.m., come back to our channel because we will have the fifth round. We'll have the fifth and sixth round of the Tuesday Night Marathon tonight. And if you haven't done so already, click on the uh, follow button and uh, you will be made aware. One minute left. Can Paul close the show? Well, you have to win in one minute, Paul. Otherwise, the game doesn't count. It's like it never happened, Paul, if you, don't, uh, if you don't close it out. It's like it didn't even exist. He didn't think. He's going to try to live for 30 seconds. Oh, there we go. He does it with 10 seconds to spare. Fantastic, Paul. 10 seconds. <laughs> that was close. You have regained your honor. And regain some honor, yeah. <laughs> He's all, yeah, sure. Congratulations <laughs> to uh, Ninja Force, seven out of seven. Nicholas Wang, Shashwat Sivakumar, second, and Mike Saylor in third. That and was insane. <laughs> insane arena. You never know what you're going to get when you uh, participate and take part in the arena. All right, everyone. Wow. Ninja yeah. Force, congratulations. Yeah, we, we know he's strong enough to pull that off, too. So congrats to him. And uh, 6.40 p.m., come back and join us. And uh, the three of us will be back covering the games of the Tuesday Night Marathon. And until then, uh, we will see you later in about 40 minutes. Bye, everyone.